everyone, Reefer Gill here. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to calibrate your Apex pH and salinity probes through Apex Fusion. Before we actually get started, I'm gonna to wanna to ensure the calibration fluid packets are around 77 degrees. A popular method of doing this is to simply allow the fluid packets to float in the aquarium's water for about 30 minutes or so. I'll also want a cup of fresh water. I prefer RO water. The cup of water will be used to rinse off the pH probe between the low and high calibration fluids, as I'll demonstrate in a bit. You'll also want an empty cup to pour out the fluid inside the end caps of the pH and ORP probes. The first probe I'll be calibrating will be the pH probe. If you purchase the Apex 2016, you'll have a total of four probes. The blue probe and the red probe will have plastic caps at the ends of them. These caps have fluid inside of them to prevent the probe sensor from going dry. You'll need to remove the caps from each probe and pour out the fluid inside of them. I do suggest that you keep these caps. Once the two probes are removed from your system because you've decided to sell them or you're gonna store them, you're gonna need to put these caps back onto the ends of the probes to prevent them from going dry. Calibration fluid number four is typically used inside these caps for storage purposes. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Open Apex Fusion and click on the Task Manager icon. Scroll down to the pH probe calibration and double click on it. Follow the Apex Fusion Wizard prompts. The first prompt will ask you to ensure that the probes are connected to the Apex. Hit Next. Most of us will only have one pH probe, but if you have more than one, you would select the pH probe you're calibrating here. Double click on the probe you'll be calibrating. The next prompt will ask you if you're ready to start the calibration. Hit Next if you're ready. Next, select which low calibration fluid you'll be using. There are two choices, number seven and number four. We'll be using number seven, which is typically the one we'd use to calibrate a pH probe. The pH calibration fluid number seven and number 10 have been floating in my sump for over 30 minutes to ensure the temperature of the fluid is at around 77 degrees. I used scissors to cut one of the corners of the number seven calibration packet. Rather than cutting straight across, I cut it at an angle to make it easier for the end of the probe to be submerged in the calibration fluid. Now place your pH probe inside number seven calibration packet. I come in diagonally into the packet and aim for the opposite corner of the packet. Continuously tap on the side of the pH probe to remove any possible air bubbles between the fluid and the sensor. Watch Apex Fusion and wait for the acceptable range to have a green check mark, then wait for the green check mark next to where it says reading has settled. You'll notice the timer on the right. Should the timer go to zero, the test will have timed out and you'll have to start over again. Wait for the timer to also receive a green check mark next to it. Now remove the pH probe from calibration fluid number seven and rinse the probe off in the cup of fresh water to remove any leftover solution. I'll go ahead and grab solution number 10 and cut it open in the same way I cut open the calibration fluid number seven. Go back to fusion and hit next. The wizard will ask you to place the probe in calibration fluid number 10. Once you do that, go ahead and hit next. Repeat the same steps as we did with calibration number seven. Tap on the side of the probe with your finger to get any air bubbles out of the probe sensor. Wait for all three green check marks to appear. This can take several minutes. Once you get all three check marks, your calibration is finished. A trick to double checking your probe calibration is to leave it inside solution number 10. Go ahead and open Apex dashboard and check to see what your pH probe is reading. The reading should be a pH of 10 or very close to it. Here you can see my probe is reading 10 on the mark while keeping it inside the solution. Moving on to the calibration of the salinity probe. Just a heads up, if you had submerged your probes inside your water prior to calibrating like I did, then you'll need to dry off the salinity probe. If your probe is not dried off prior to this test, it will not work. Take my word for it. Once your probe is dry, jump back into Fusion and double click on the Task Manager's icon. Select Conductivity Calibration and double click on it. Follow the same prompts as before. The first part of the calibration test is to check to see if your probe is dry. For this part of the calibration, do not submerge your salinity probe into the solution. Simply hold the dry probe while it's exposed to air. Allow Fusion to finish the calibration, then click Next. You'll be asked what type of conductivity measurement your fluid packet is. Mine says 53,000, so I'll go ahead and to the drop down menu and select 53,000. You can see there's quite a selection here. I've only ever used 53,000 US CM. For the next part of the calibration process, you'll need conductivity solution. Again, I allow the conductivity solution to float in my aquarium water to warm up to around 77 degrees. Place the salinity probe into the calibration fluid and wait for Apex to finish the calibration process. You'll know it's done once you get all three green check marks as we did with the pH calibration. This does take a few minutes, but once you get all three green check marks, your probe should be good to go. 
Unlike the pH calibration, you only need to dip the salinity probe into one calibration packet. In the same way we tested our pH probe for accuracy, we can do the same thing with the salinity probe. Once you're finished with the calibration process, leave the salinity probe inside the calibration fluid packet. Now go into Apex Fusion and check your salinity reading. 53,000 USCM is the same as saying 1.026 specific gravity, which is the same as 35 parts per thousand. All three readings are different ways of measuring salinity, and all three are the same exact measurement, just set in different ways. Apex uses parts per thousand, so your reading should be close to 35 with a probe still inside the calibration fluid. Although it doesn't have to be precisely 35, mine ended up being spot on. I would suggest that you keep a handful of calibration packets for your pH and salinity probes handy. The probes will eventually become inaccurate. I calibrate my probes on average every 8 months or so. For whatever reason, I find the pH probe to be off sooner than the salinity probe. Then again, I was using standard probes with my Apex Classic. These probes are lab grade, so maybe my experience over time will be different. So that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to follow along with my aquarium builds, please hit that subscription button. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram to get real-time updates, and we will see you guys next Sunday. Thanks for watching.